we have an organic farm here. This is our finished products. Broccoli, red kill, and reddish. Our reception center. This is our teaching practice. She's on our team. Okay, you can take that with you. You saw her. See? Okay, so we'll have you, two, three of you up here. So these are different class schedule that uh, you have. Meeting is a community service. In the morning, every day, six o'clock, yoga, meditation, tai chi, just all participate. Okay? For the meditation is free. Okay. And over here what we have is uh, natural type of This is uh, our community provide services. So a lot of veterans don't know how to meditate. So this is uh, Eastern philosophy. He's a reincarnation, American born, but have a Tibet monk who passed away in Tibet, reincarnate into his body. So the Tibet monk came and certified him as a reincarnation Buddhist in the West side. So now he's teaching the Buddhist philosophy in the American culture. And part of it is he provides his meditation healing to crystal. And this is you guys being receiving to. It's uh, bringing positive energy from the higher self. So any negative energy you come to contact, it will automatically transfer to positive energy. So. There's a pyramid here, these are gold. Right? So a lot of us, we don't know when we interface to a negative energy, we don't know how to get rid of it. So the pyramid will help take that negative energy out of it. All right, so his mission is to bring love and compassion to the Western communities. So what he realized that in the Western, is more science. In the Eastern, it's more spiritual. So what he does is he put in spiritual and science together. So he manifests spiritual technology. But the difference is, is organic technology. Right. So this is our living room. Uh, customer come in. Now if, if they identify themselves as a veteran, we'll have them sit here. Okay, and you guys be working with them. So they come inside. Come inside, everybody. Does it feel good on your feet? Oh, oh, oh. So this room is going to be like administration. You know, so they say, come to and say, hi, how you doing? What's your problem? Blah, blah, blah. And then we'll send them down the hallway. We said, we have naturopath doctors, we have psychiatric doctors, we have a doctor friend. These are the counselors. And you guys get to, you know, she's my, because this is what she did. You know, she's like, oh, you know, you get to talk to them and let them know, hey, what I see, what I saw, you know. And they say, you know what, I'll work on it. And you get to know them. And just like me and Frank. And some of us have a technology, you know, and then we'll share it. And then we say, oh, together. Because you have to take away the deceptive <laughs> So now you know the truth. Okay. So this will be our administration room. Okay. Now I don't really ask you. It's a free will. Four hours on. You know I don't really need you like nine to five. If you want to come down, we can volunteer. It's just this is up to you. But it's a guarantee when you go to different dimension. Okay. It's a good record for you. Yes. I will be inside. Okay. Come on in. This is a naturopath doctor room. Okay. Come on in. Okay. Let's add a crystal.
touch the tag cards and then people have different gifts. Oh, that's Tarot cards, really? Oh. I was actually thinking of going to work. Okay, cool. Feel good? Feel the energy? Yeah, cool. So this is our help seat real quick, yeah? Let's see. Pick a chair. Pick a chair. Okay, sit down. Okay, sit down. Okay. So, what I'd like to share with you is that each one of you are chosen for your mission. Our job is to make a confirmation to you that um, you are graduated from here on that we are equal. But what happened when we went to this and came up, right? How did we clean up? Is we become self-awakening. Self-awakening is like, hey, am I happy about what I'm doing? It is no. Stop. Stop. Stop yourself from doing something that you're not happy about. Now, and the second thought is, am I happy about what I'm doing? Yes. Feel it. Right? Now, you pick out a good subject, and I can confirm you. Okay? The teletapping is working. And if I'm saying these words, you probably know what page it is. It's going to say this. Language of the mind, the language of the mind is word. The language of the heart is what? No. Feeling. Yeah. Okay? And that's the problem. We have different language. You see? The feelings, the 15 feet radius. I hate them. The mind is the ego. And that's what's stopping us from graduating. Okay? And it's right here. I like a chair too. Yeah, I know. I know. I can send you telepathic. It's working. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Yesterday, actually. I don't think I can read it that way. The language of mind is words. The language of the heart is feelings. But the language of our presence is behaviors or activity. If you stay in the intelligence of your presence by giving it your attention, then the things that come within your local multiverse uh, with that, that's right, multiverse, <laughs> they can have a lower density, they will have minimal effect, I'm sorry, as you can, from the empowerment of your own quantum presence, transform them with ease. Oh, absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, that's easy. Good, we can film? Yeah. Okay, now, that's fine. Okay, so. Yeah, that's okay. easy. From now on, Stay in the ground. Okay, you stay <coughs> solid on this path. People are gonna pull you to the left, to the right. You stay. Like that, you look good. Like you gotta be you. Make sense? Don't don't give up on that. People can call us Google, they're gonna come. You stay. Okay? You stay high. You stay high, why? Because you know what the low one is. <laughs> You don't go deal with it. You can deal with the lower, but remember, come back. They are not graduated yet. <laughs> right? And they never. Well, it's not your job to, to go to the airport. You got your own account. You got to go to the next mission. 
We're done with that. Yeah. We don't want to go to kindergarten. That's, not, that's tomorrow. That's yesterday. Today, now. Today, now. Be open and have fun. When you leave this earth, there won't, there's no hesitation. <coughs> you know why? Because it's infinite. You don't have the hesitation. Did I love her enough? Did I? No. You done the best you could. Move on. You can try after, okay? Okay. Remember the fly I showed to you? So, the front, the front. Uh, not this one. It wasn't a folder. So, the gentleman of reincarnation. Okay. So, these are technology. These are gold. Gonna zap you a little bit. That's natural. Well, it shocked me because I have a defibrillator for my heart. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. It might set it off. No, no. Just grab it. Just grab, touch it. Take yeah, it you're something. fine. It's not. Okay. It's not. Yeah, it feels good. Okay. So the way it works is any negative energy come to contact. You know, the human body work on electromagnetic energy. It need electric current to charge the cells in the brain. When you get weak, right, your brain is a transmitter. It doesn't have enough electric current to fire up the cells and the nerves. So the ancient Egypt, when you see the statue, they stood and they have something in their hand. Because the chi coming in from the left hand, flow to your body and then exit to the right. Exactly. So, the human body is an amplifier and it uses the pretty much proton energy, crystal, and magnetic gold, right? So, it's organic. When you put this in your hand, it's automatic bringing electromagnetic energy from the earth. Fix your heart, fix your cells. Right? Is there copper around there as well? Yeah. And then you have electromagnetic energy. These are organic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt the body. Mm -hmm. It enhances the body. Mm -hmm. So, does my dad feel better already? Yeah, yeah. So basically, these are electromagnetic mat. These are made by Tibet monk and nun. They're handmade, and they ship it here. So these are gold and copper crystal here. It's all. Of, you see the tree behind? Yes. Within one hundred mile radius. Electromagnetic energy will bring positive energy. And you can feel the energy around here because the pyramid stretches. And this is a sacred, sacred uh, high type. So when I become a monk, this is offer. So when I'm on a mission, this is what I want to do. And I have to wait through that to come out here to provide that services. So they, they have to be. Uh, Conductor, right? Kind of walk, walk, talk, talk. Okay, so, so it, the reason I confirm that you guys show someone because before there's too much density. You know what density is? You know, ego mind, you go into different dimensions. That, that is a density of electromagnetic energy. So your body can process it. So now we take those density out so that way you can understand there's a concept spiritual awakening. Okay. So my job is to show this step and tool. These are tools. Right? You learn them when you activate your DNA, you don't need the tool. It stays there in your DNA, but it needs to be activated. So a lot of people don't know how to meditate. A lot of, a lot of people don't know how to heal themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, the Tibet monk, you know, what can they do to help humanity gradually so they manifest this? 
So back in the day, you see uh, pharaohs, Egyptian. You know, when you think, what do you think they put mummy inside the pyramid? That I don't know. I've been wondering. Yeah. Energy are transformed. You cannot contain energy. Because energy can't stay straight. Energy can only stay in a sacred geometry. But the energy is here. So the vortex energy in Sedona, the vortex energy in Pyramid. So if you put an apple inside a pyramid and another one outside, the one that stay outside will go rot and contaminate. The one inside will naturally dry, but it doesn't go rot. You know, the scientists have taken the grains that were buried with the ancient pharaohs yeah. and over thousands and what, 6,000 more years old yeah. and they planted them and they grew. Yeah. Amazing. Well, because the electromagnetic energy here is strong. That's a scientific fact. I right. Mean. And it preserves in the DNA. Mm -hmm. That's why they put the pharaoh and the bodies inside. Okay. That yeah. makes yeah. For surveying. more sense than any sense I've been told so far. Right. Now, the pyramid doesn't do it by human means. Okay. Nah, there's a capstone. Capstone is bringing the electromagnetic charge. Is it going? It doesn't go. Okay, it's a conductor. Human body also a conductor. So we connect your primate brains. The problem is we, we don't awaken it. When you awaken it, you connect to the earth, so you become part of the earth. So the earth, we need you to be awakening so the earth can shift to the fifth dimension, to the fourth dimension. But the earth requires you. Consciousness. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So the Tibetan monks say, okay, I'll do this to help every one of you. But when you learn to train your will, you resonate. You resonate. The technique is resonate. Let me give you one more thing. And then uh, at the end of the class, you guys can come down here, have your session anytime you like. You can work with our community. I'm just going to show you the technology we have. These are bioelectromagnetic energy. These are made by Tibet monk, and part of the experiment is I have three or four Native American medicine men sit on this. Okay. And I have a monk sit on this. Now, before I come out here to talk to you is the, the first Native American Indian who worked in the VA in Tucson. So I went to see him. It's rumored by this side, but in the hospital, it's really cold. It was totally fit. The reason why they keep the hospital, you can sit down a little bit. 